Didn't know if we was going to be working today because it rained all night. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, today we're going to be doing some more of this fence like that. Coming up the drive, making a little circle right here. Dustin's already uh, tore down the old stuff, reclaimed it. I'm going to go jump on the skiddy. We're going to move all this stuff over out of the way. And she wants me to pull all the gravel back so that she's not having to move it by hand because she will just she's trying to expand her her garden so if you come and look right here you can see our fence line right there we're coming off the building six feet stayed in line and then we're just going to do a little radius right here so that the clients come in she's got some privacy because this is an art uh, art gallery and she's got an adjacent property that's uh, Maynard Dixon home, which Maynard Dixon was a real uh, prevalent artist back in the early 1900s. His paintings sell for a lot of money. So the tours start here and then they go over to the Maynard Dixon home, which is his original cabin that he built. We're just kind of cleaning this up. Then we're going to plant all these trees for her. I'm going to go get the skid, move this stuff, put the bucket on, and then I can kind of groom this up and we can start digging holes. This was some good soft digging. I thought it was gonna take longer, but I blew right through this. I got one more hole on the end. I'm gonna go ahead and get this last hole. Then we'll bury some posts, run a string line, get everything square to the world. And then we can carry on with our fence. I see a problem. That thing's not in there all the way. It's hanging out like this. There's a whole pin, like, not even in the hole. It's this right here. It's, like, rocked over, and, like, the pin's not in all the way. Uh, go get the sledge. It's pounded in there. It's percussive maintenance. I just noticed that, and I was like, um, that doesn't look right. Good catch, Wyatt. Looks like that roll pin came out. I've got uh, pressure on it, but you're gonna have to pound up on this end. Oh. <laughs> I'll grab a string. All right, what you up to? Well, Wyatt. <laughs> um, we're putting on these slats, we put all these blocks in, we got all them level. We're just gonna screw these down and get it ready for the slats so we can get the fence up. Look at that. It's almost like you know what you're doing. So on this fence that we're building, I ran some string lines at my desired heights. And we cut these blocks at like seven degrees because we got that much slope. And then 
we're putting our stringers in like this. Then we'll come back and pin nail all the slats on and then screw them back on after we get them pin nailed. Quite a process. It'll look good when it's done. Yep. While Dustin's cutting the last uh, six stringers, I'm going to go do some chainsaw massacre. Let me show you what I got to do. So we got to cut that off and that off right there. Okay, so we're back to the shop. We're building a gate for the fence. I got it all put together, countersinked and screwed. And now we're just cutting the 45 angles to come in here just to sturdy up and hold it square. I've got it all squared up. That'll hold it square to hang from the fence and just look beautiful. Okay, we're back here at the art gallery, uh, getting ready to put this gate in. start on the end at least we're up and around the turn before we run out of yeah. slats Dustin and I hung the gate earlier now he's got all these laid out and we're going to be about one section short of slats isn't that about how it goes yeah well. there it goes. Okay. what are you doing Wyatt he likes that pin nailer I um, just like playing with this yeah Boys like their toys, huh? Right there. Can you remember in the last Mohicans? I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh no, no. It's uh, actually not last Mohicans. It's uh, Apocalypto. Have you seen that? No. So these Mayans captured these other Mayans and they were sacrificing them. Well, one of the captors was calling one of the slaves almost. So, I'm almost today. Come all the way up here uh, with the bad stuff we've got. We need 20 more slats to finish this job. So it's almost, almost got there. And our closest Home Depot is 60 miles, 70 miles. So, it's not happening today. Yeah, what about an hour and a half drive to St. George? It's even farther, 90 miles to St. George. I'm talking about cedar. Uh, come and show them the inside, how it looks with the nailers and yeah, the look rails and everything. Look at this. We'll make a nice little garden yeah, deal. Susan wanted more garden space. So. Have the nice tree here. It goes all the way down. Want to explain how lucky we just got? Holy cow. They're even orange. Yeah. This is the local hardware store. Let's see if she's got, she's got 20 of them. One, two, whoop, bowed, but Looks put it right. on the end and push it. Yep. It's 20 on the money. 20 on the money. How crazy is that? That is luck. So we're just leaving the hardware store. He had exactly 20 that were usable. Must be why it's good clean living. <laughs> sure, or something like that. The, the stars aligned for once. All right, let's go get him in. All righty. So we're here at the art gallery building a fence for Susan Bingham. And I want to take you inside and give you a little tour of her art gallery. It's pretty cool. Let's go on in the art gallery and uh, see if Susan's around. Okay, we're here at the art gallery, uh, buttoning up Susan's fence. 
I just wanted you to kind of explain what's going on in here. This is such a cool building and I love the art. Well, we came here because of the historical property next door, which I think we're going to look at. I've known Clayton ever since that time that we bought that historical property of Maynard Dixon. That was in 98. 98, we purchased it and I think you made the bed in 99. Yeah. And yep. uh, that was great and we've, it's been wonderful. It still looks just great in there. But anyway, so then several years later, we built this building so that we could have an art gallery where we could show art that's being painted today by some of the finest painters in the American West. And so we do a lot of work with Robert Goldman over here. And uh, he is an artist originally from San Diego now. This big the Grand Canyon? One? Yes, oh, that's I, beautiful. He, he does a lot of Grand Canyon pieces. A lot of, you know, things from all around this region. He lives in Arizona now, in Prescott, Arizona. So he gets out and he loves to go in the back water places and he paints these small paintings on location and then he'll go back into his studio and create the larger pieces for the studies. And then we have uh, Ray Roberts. Ray Roberts is a wonderful California painter that we've known for many years. And uh, he does beautiful work. He can paint anything. He's a man that can paint uh, portraits and landscape and seascape, whatever. So the historical property was purchased by Maynard Dixon in the beginning? Maynard Dixon built that cabin over there. Oh, what yeah. year did he build? In 1938 is when they um, purchased You have some that. of his paintings oh, We here. actually have, I don't have any originals here, but I have some real good examples over yeah. in the house that we can show you. But Maynard, I can show you here, uh, there are some Maynard pieces in here that are, most of his work now is in private collections and It's hard to get, isn't it? Yes. And uh, it's pricey now. We have sold over 200 paintings by Maynard Dixon and worked with his widow and knew the family. And, and so we've been very involved in it, which was why we decided that his last home needed to be restored. His ashes are buried on that property. So that's what brought us here. And, and these course, are Maynards here? These are Maynards. That, he did many Sunset Magazine posters, you can see that one there and then these are all in private collections Brigham Young University in, in northern Utah they have the largest collection that they purchased from oh, him in 1937 yeah they've got a, they've got a, a show right now if you get up there yeah. you should go see it it's up through September and it's a wonderful show I think what we'll probably do is go over and take yeah, a look let's at go the historical check property. out the historical property that would be cool okay Sounds and good. then we'll get your link to your website. Yes, and yeah. then we'll just put it on our video. Sure, sounds great. Okay. okay, and you're going to ride in the back there? Yep. Okay. I'll ride shotgun and okay. like and video. We're going for a ride. So what is this house? Maynard decided that they needed to have a bunk house here when um, they had guests. They needed a place for guests. And so they built this thinking that they would make some money in the summertime. I don't know that they ever did because mostly it was friends who came and they ended up taking care of the kids and everything and cooking and <laughs> it didn't make much money. Well, come on in, Wyatt. Let's check out the bunk house. Oh, wow. Where's your chairs, Clayton? And, and this old furniture, you know, this just old country furniture, yeah. probably somebody around here made. So that chair is probably at least 15 years old. Yeah, well, I think we've had it about 10, about this 10, 10, 15, 10, 15. Yeah. yeah, I love them. I, I, like, love I them. like the color. Aren't they great? Yeah. Yeah, so see, there's things you can... So it looks like this was an addition. Yes, that was an addition. Did that's right. Wilfred Zorns do that, or? Uh, no, no, no. Edith did it. Okay. Uh, after Maynard passed away, she added on this so that that they could have more a room. And those are the original beds. They have all the original old springs on. You know, oh wow! Old bouncy, bouncy springs. That's the old amazing. Metal ones. Yeah, the old metal yeah. springs and the old the furniture is all crafted. Uh, 
its country era, furniture it's of that era, of the era. Sort of, I call it a poor man's Art Deco style. <laughs> you can yeah. even smell that it's just old. Yeah, it smells old, doesn't yeah. it? It's amazing. And, yeah. So that, do people still sleep here? Yeah. Yeah, we still do. Do you rent it out or do they just uh, well, friends and for, family? Yeah, mostly that. You know, it's kind of like glorified camping. There's yeah. no heat in here and and so it's, it's not doesn't work too well in the winter time, but uh summertime but yeah. it feels comfortable. But yeah, right it's now. great. It's yeah. really perfect. It's a proper old building. And look yeah, at this. Yeah, so this is see what they did is they just had a I need cowbell. more cowbell. <laughs> you ever seen that skit on Saturday Night Live? Oh. Give yeah. me more cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these things were, like I say, the original beds, log beds, and just simple furniture. But I love the way they're made with, yeah. the, with the panels on there. This place is like a time capsule. Isn't it though? Oh yeah. That. yeah. You know, the, that was afraid we were gonna do and he was concerned about it. And I think he, once we, he saw what, that we had actually restored it, he was happy. So what's this building here, Susan? This is the studio. Um, this is the art studio, actually. And it was, at one time, did not have this addition. The second owner, Milford Zorns, put on that addition. And that was more like a warehouse in the back. So the rock one was built the same time the house? Um, uh, no, it was built after that. But um, built by uh, Maynard Dixon? Uh, Actually, it was Edith. Maynard, okay. Maynard and Edith had planned to build it, okay. and then Maynard died in 1946. So the year so he died year, early. Sounds like he died in 1946. He was okay. he was 27 years older than Edith. So, okay. So she. So Edith kind of carried on the yeah, dream. Yeah, she carried on for 17 years. She kept wow. this after he passed away. Yeah. Oh, um, look at this. Oh yeah, my. Yeah. So this is the studio. And this is a great example of Maynard Dixon's work right there. Oh, yeah. That is called Wild Horses of Nevada. It was painted in 1927, so you can see that he he was considered an early modernist painter. So um, you have the small one up in the office yeah, of that same Yeah, we do. Print. We do. Yeah, wow. we do. But it, it's a wonderful piece, um, like I say, 1927. This is Maynard's chair. This used to be the little sofa that was in the house. It's just very simple. Clayton, you'd be interested in the oh, yeah. construction. Oh yeah, that's it's just, cool. It's just rope Looks like rope you know, that's, for the cushion. That's underneath, that's all it is. So it really sinks down in. Same, same kind of style as the beds. Exactly, just very yeah. simple, but yeah. you know, with those. And then this chair here is a wonderful example too, of sort of a, uh, it's almost, Sort of Adirondack, sort of arts and crafts, sort of I don't know what, but it's, it's real early Western. But it, but look Western. at the way it's constructed with just yeah, the, it's got the mortise and tenons, right. it's all notched out. Right. Yeah, that's and then that's cool. It's that original color. Edith whitewashed all these walls, and I'm sure it was because she wanted a lot of light in this studio, because she was a painter and she was doing murals, so she could hang her murals on here, notch them on to a two before and and then be able to roll them up. So she was an artist too? Yes, she was an artist. She uh, was from San Francisco, Worked in, she did work in the court tower there. In the so do people the come and set up shop in here and paint? Or they do it? sometimes, yeah, they do. Uh-huh, yeah, and we have gatherings. Uh, next month we're having a group of women here that paint, and then we come in and we share our art. We've also used this for an exhibition space where we've had shows where artists come, and then we display all of the art that they create while they're here, and that's a lot of fun. We call it a wet painting sale. This, this is a great example of uh, Maynard's uh, work during the Depression. And Brigham Young University owns that series. They're called the Forgotten Man series. Oh, wow. And he was married to Dorothea Lange at the time. Dorothea Lange is a famous American uh, photographer of the Depression. And they both lived in, of course, they lived in San Francisco at the time. So they both recorded their um, impressions of what was happening in the, during the Depression time. 
and it's a timeless piece very poignant wow and you can see why the curator there was taken with me in its work and wanted so many to bring him in so this is uh, called cow puncher you know that he liked to do the cat the horses bucking and in various uh, positions now it's so they park cars in here, or this was a garage. Or just a workshop. It ended, it ended right here, and this was Edith's one per, one car garage, and it was just like a garage. It, it was not. We finished it off with all the. Tongue I need seat. a picture of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My boys will freak out. <laughs> that's a good one, isn't it? Oh, that's a dandy. Yeah. Here, take me take a picture of me, what? <laughs> We got to get all that trash out there like that. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, people ask me, is that a swastika? At, you know, the early Native Americans. That is Navajo, isn't right. it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I've seen it yeah. in the rugs. Uh huh. Yep. Probably. That's a cool little latch. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is way cool. Again, these are these are the original colors of the doors. They were all. You know, kind of a southwest influence here. Look Good. at that old gun. That's an old Civil old War musket. era gun. Maynard Dixon's father had fought in the Civil War that as a long. he was a Confederate soldier uh, from Missouri. They had a they had a cotton farm in Missouri, and after the Civil War, they lost their farm and they came to Fresno, California, and that's where. Little Maynard Dixon was born in 1875. Oh, wow. Yeah. So much history. This is another painting. This is called, it's hard to see it right here, but it's called, is there a glare over there? Maybe not over here so much, but it's called Navajo Land. And it's another one that was painted in 1927. The book on the mantle is, uh, Maynard Dixon did the illustrations for that particular edition of the Oregon Trail. And this is another illustration from San Jose Mercury News. The t you can see the furniture here, Clayton. This this uh, very simple drop leaf table yeah. is here, original. Milford Zorns had modernized it in the 70s. So we have a state-of-the-art 70s kitchen. And this is the beautiful bed that you made and see how it's still beautiful. I've, just, I've always loved it. It's just been the best bed. That was the first so, time we met. So, 97. Were you just starting? The yeah, I started in 90. I started in 97 and we built this in 99, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. it. Just it fits so well in here. Yeah. And they always had a, a log bed, but we wanted a queen size. <laughs> Isn't this bed in the Architectural Digest? Yes. yes, yes. That was we were featured in Architectural Digest. Yeah. So if people want to come and tour, and is it a guided tour? Uh, we can do a self-guided tour that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Every day, people can just show up. We show them a little video about Dixon and about the house. And then we give them a little brochure and they can walk through themselves. Or if they want a docent guided tour, they have to schedule that ahead of time. Right. And then you kind of explain everything. Right. And, and then we go through. Give them all the nuts and right, bolts. A right. Little... Yeah. So it's okay. a little more comprehensive and they get a chance. So to... if they go on your website, they can Absolutely. book it right there. You bet. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So the link to this uh, cool Maynard Dixon property will be in the description of the video. Check it out. And if you're at all interested in art and history. We're right here in Southern Utah in Mount Carmel. Uh, come check it out and Susan will hook you up and treat you nice. We hope you enjoyed this episode and um, do you have anything to say Susan? Hey just thank you so much Clayton. It was really great and I'm happy to show you around and it'll be great to see others that might want to come yeah, by. It's a cool property. It's worth uh, stopping in Mount Carmel to check it out. So please like, share, and subscribe.